Good afternoon and welcome to the third webinar in our new Open Classroom Civil Designer Software webinar series. My name is Charles Scott and I'll shortly be joined by my colleague Christopher Smith. Today, Sue and Stormwater webinar run by Chris will cover Sue House Connections. During the presentation, please ask us any question you may have via the text messenger service, which either Andrew or I will answer. So without further delay, Chris, who many of you in KwaZulu-Natal, the Free State, and Mpumalanga will know well, please take it away with today's webinar. Thanks, Charles, and welcome everybody for this edition of our webinar, which we cover sewer house connections. Sometimes I'll refer to it as earth connections, and sometimes I'll refer to it as property connections, depending on which version of the software you've installed. So let's go ahead and create these house connections. I'm first off going to show you how to set up your inflows, because remember that your house connections don't just create a model of a house connection that is low enough to drain the whole uh, property, but it is also created to create an inflow into the network. So let's go and have a look at the inflows. If we go to our design parameters, we first need to check that the dynamic flow update is ticked on so that your property connections will connect to the sewer with flow contributions. We'll then look at the flow contributions. We'll use the unit flow, so we'll look at the unit flow parameters and we'll make sure that we have set up ours according to whichever regulations you're using. You can see here I've used the average daily inflows and I've got them set up here. You're welcome to change these as you wish. I'll then look at the property connections and if we go to the defaults, you'll see this is the defaults that are used whenever I'm setting up. If I'm, for instance, doing all the connections in the street, I will come here and I'll change it to in the road reserve. You can see that we've got inside the property, outside the property, these two are for mid-block sewer connections, and then we've got the in-road reserve. You've also got um, the setup of the minimum cover and uh, at the house and also at the boundary. So if we look over here, you can see that if we look at this property over here, you can see that we'll be connecting over here, but the land is flowing in this direction. Let's quickly jump back and just get our slope arrow switched on and then come back to the screen in a second. So I just want to show you which way the terrain is falling. So I'll just go to my terrain, to my slopes, and I will choose a length of two millimeters is perfect. I don't want slope shading at this stage. And I can say, okay, now I know that the ground is falling in this direction and you can see that's the lowest part of the property. So if we go to these defaults, you can see I want to connect here and I know that the, the sewer is running in this direction. So I'd like to connect at this location. This is the lowest point on the property. And so if I had to have a laundry room in this part of the property, I'd still want the property connection to drain. So when we scan the ground, we're going to go and say, uh, find the lowest point, which will be here, and drop down 300 mils and then go at 1 in 60. You see, you can always edit these items and change them as, as you suit. So this is more of a plumbing exercise in this direction. And then we meet up with the main civil sewer connection at this side here. At this side, we're going to be at 0.7 and uh, we'll then connect. But we also will do a check to see whether this connection actually suits the main line or if it is deeper than the main line, and we'll flag that for you and we'll show you how to flag that. Going back to the contributions, we're gonna choose that um, all our connections will be in uh, middle income, and we will calculate the minimum ground on the, on the property for you. If we just have a look at these connections here, you can see that I wanted to speak about the inside earth and outside earth. So we just, come to this part here and bring up, I'll just press space bar to bring that up again. Here you can see that I want to connect these properties. It's not ideal to connect up here because the terrain is falling here. So we call this a mid block, this connection here, and we'll be connecting on the outside. So we'll be using this tool over here to connect on the outside of each property. 
and then over here you can see I want to connect these two properties this is also mid block but it's called an inside property mid block connection okay so let's jump back to in road reserve and we'll go and put a connection at this location here so I will go okay one extra step we did speak about the not uh, checking the possibilities of these connections so let's just quickly have a look at that if we go to connection connection types you can see that if it's not possible even if the pipe is 150 mils up to 150 mils above the invert at the connection point to the main line it will flag it as not possible this is a fact of safety just to ensure that your connection will connect because we don't know the accuracy of your survey so you're more than welcome to come and edit this decrease it or increase it as you feel in regards to the accuracy of your terrain um, but this some municipalities would like these set up according to this exact standard but you're more than welcome in fact i also flag these ones that are deeper than 1.5 meters deep house connection because there are a few municipalities that don't actually allow such deep connections okay just to cover that i've made a little drawing over here so if we open this up just close that up and you can see here you've got your property connection so if it is greater than 150 mils to the main line then we say it is possible and there's different depths that we allow for here you can see that clearly it's not going to connect here's the main line sewer and here's your property connection it's much deeper than there than the main line so it's a not possible and then here as well you can see that your main line is still above but less than 150 mils we also say that this is not possible because we don't know what accuracy the survey of the terrain is okay so let's pop back to civil designer taskbar doesn't go down but it's fine and we can then connect let's connect this one here I've deliberately made one that's not possible to show you how we flag it so if we go to our connections and we say add sewer connection we can then say we want to select this one here and I can go and call it sewer property connection 001 and we can connect that property and now it, likes, it would like to scan the ground, so I select inside here, and you can see that it has scanned the ground. All the default settings have come through. You can see that it's in the road reserve, and it's done the connection, and you can then see the stats and the position, and the results will be empty because we haven't run analysis yet. And we can close this, and now it's looking for the next one. But our first, so there, I'll just press escape, you would go and do all the ones inside the road reserve and then all the ones for outside the property and inside so let's quickly go and do one more um, we'll go and do a few more so i'm going to go and do outside the property i press ok and i'll go and say add the property connection i want to be in this low point and we'll, that's fine we'll give it that name and we'll scan this boundary I'm happy with that. I'm happy that it's an outside property and now it wants it's already scanned. So you could go and do all of these and then come back and do the inside property connection. So we'll go and say defaults again and we'll do one on the inside. Sorry, inside the property and we'll go and say add earth connection and we'll add one over here sorry let's add it over here that's fine and we'll scan the ground and we'll say that is okay that's perfect okay so now I've just pressed escape to end that off and we can go and have a look at our connections I always say type because I want to see if it's not possible and I also like to show where the lowest point on the ground is so that I can see there's the lowest point, there's the lowest point, there's the lowest point. So that one is going to be the one with the issues. Let's go and analyze our property. So we can go and say analyze these property connections, all of them. And yes, we would like to contribute flows. And here you can see it's not possible. 
because it's lower than the ground. So let's have a look at that in plan view. So if we select that and go to edit uh, link, uh, let's look at the long section. Here you can see the property connection is lower than the main line, which is not possible. Okay, so you can fix this item. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Uh, there's just one disclaimer, and that is to always look because you're going to pivot this main line about the lowest manhole, and you don't want to be going too deep on this end. So if we go to uh, back to your display settings, nodes, and we can go and look at our depth in meters just to see what depth we're doing. Yes, and I'll go here, and you'll see that it's now picked up the connections, and we'll say next because we're now analyzing the main levels because it's updated them. And now we need to reanalyze our property connections. And we just press yes because we, it's telling us that if there is no not possible, so it's not gonna contribute flows and now you can see it has updated the main sewer and lowered it so let's go see what that looks like if we click on the main sewer connection and we go to edit long section you can see it has lowered this main line um, so that this property can flow here you can see that the connection is been lowered the depth is now lower um, one last thing before we close off is um, if you're wondering the naming convention here if you see the results if you're wondering of this naming convention you can always go to your defaults press F1 and you can read up on the different terminologies that we have and if you click on the earth connection design You'll get a description of sewers in mid block, both the inside and outside of property, as well as in the road reserve. That's all for today. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you, this was helpful. Have a great day further. Cheers from me. Thank you, Christopher. That was excellent. And thank you to all who attended today's webinar. Please join us tomorrow at the same time and place for the water webinar covering how to deal with air and scour valves as well as water pipe routing. Thank you, take care and goodbye.